We can cross that off the list. That little bitch won't be ruining the sewers with a rotting waste anymore.
She was a tough one. Now I can see what Black Frost saw in her. Spunky. I think we've pretty much taken care of the concubines. That just leaves the Guardian and the palace. If you have anything you need to do at the camp, you'd better go do it now. There's no chance that Black Frost is going to just let you turn around and go back once you're in his domain. to me. In your dreams, I am Lord Blackfrost's number one concubine. I belong to no one but him. I will present him with my insectoid carcass after I have picked my teeth with thy dainty feet. It is thy power that doth interest me. My power. That which thy master hath stolen from me. You think you will defeat me because you bested my daughters. I should thank you for getting rid of those harlots by offering you a quick and painless day. But unfortunately for you, my lord Blackfrost has other plans where you are concerned. to actually penetrate the realm of Lord Blackfrost. But do not fool yourself. You did not win your passage alone. 
It was the evil lord himself who opened the way inside. He's testing me. Yes, and it would appear he now knows what to expect. This should be one of the most fascinating confrontations of the last several thousand years. I simply cannot wait to see the outcome. Yeah? Well, I can't wait to get it over with. you've taken care of your affairs here, I can see no reason to delay the inevitable any further. We've waited long enough. All of his defenses are down. The concubines are dead. We need to strike now before he has time to react. So be it. Let's do it. new protégé. So happy you could make it. You took your time about it, but I can see that you've made some real progress. Yes, yes, you have. Yeah, well, your concubines won't be progressing anywhere, ever. From now on, you're on your own, and there's no escape. Well, that was never my intention. I am in my realm here. You and your companions are my guests. It seems that you two have lost some friends along the way. How very sad. More than most, I know how fragile a friendly alliance can be. Isn't that so, White Lady? Yet it seems destiny has reunited us once again. Oh, what a delicious irony. I'll be savoring the delicious irony of your protege humiliating and destroying you right before my eyes. Now you know why I'm here. My dear lady, it is useless to lie to me, and you know it. You are here because you want the same thing I do. For the moment, you do not have the power, but I know that you will leap for it at the slightest opportunity. I have missed you, you know. Once I have extracted what interests me from the corpse of your friend, I will make you my new number one concubine. But don't you worry. Crystal and the Ice Duchess will be joining you very soon. Not even Black Storm will dare to oppose me now. Look, I've about had it with both of you monsters. Black Frost, sorry, but the time has come for me to shut you up for good. And it is I who will extract what belongs to me from thy dead carcass. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
In 6,000 years of existence, I don't think I've ever had a day quite as interesting as this one. Vulcan, my dear, this was a fight that deserves to be included in the history books, and I will make certain that it is. You may count on me to tell future generations about your exploits, if there is a future, that is. But that, of course, will depend on you. That fears me not. I must return to the world heart. Clearly. And that is precisely why we are here. Each Ice Lord possesses the means to gain access to the World Heart from his or her own palace. It would doubtless be prudent to borrow this one before the other Ice Lords have time to react. Ah, uh, I would have loved to accompany you, but I fear your destiny is to continue alone. The World Heart obeys neither the same rules nor the same magic as does the rest of Vertil. What you find there will be exactly what you bring. I have need of no one. Fine. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> 